everyone, welcome back to German Auto House where it's another week, another week full of projects and interesting things that happen here. We have the 720, a uh, customer came in with a loud exhaust issue, something going on, or you thought maybe the engine has been uh, exploded. But with the camera that we sneaked in through here, and we found out that one of the exhaust manifolds has cracked. The manifold itself and then the pipe that the exhaust, the header, um, has cracked, has split. So we're trying to find, figure out if uh, we have to make a custom weld one or actually find a new one, used one, whatever for this customer. But no matter what, we have to take the whole rear end off to get to there. So it's going to be an interesting little project. I'll try to keep you updated with this one. Once we get in there, I'll show you how the crack looks. It's pretty bad with the camera when it looks because it's a small little camera. It shows a little, but it's pretty bad. Uh, this one still haven't touched. We will get to that one. This one, the Ferrari with a transmission, we're going to try to start maybe tomorrow, day after. Because um, on Friday we're going to start the rebuild on it. And then uh, right now with Master Dima, we're working on this uh, nicely wrapped uh, Bentley. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Customer uh, likes this Hi everybody. It's the 4.0? It yeah, 4.0. This Audi is turbo. Audi, Audi V8 twin turbo engine. Oh, you can see. I'm stupid. That's right there. <laughs> yeah, this is how this engine, but just like few pipes, inlet pipes, different intake. Because if you remember, guys, how this this side, mm -hmm. one side, and from a newer engine, it's like both side. But yeah, this is how the engine. What happens? We don't know. We know the story about engine stuck. And uh, well, what we know for sure is that the customers. Customer had his son drive his car. Uh, we're not blaming the son, we don't know anything about it, but he said that the light turned on, it was low on oil, the son topped it off. Next thing you know, it doesn't start. Yeah, yeah but we don't know. We checked, it's a two level of engine oil, but two level is not that crazy bad, like crazy bad. But anyway, we need the first, we need to check. Uh, what I wanna do, I wanna pull out the filters, remove the spark plugs and check. Probably, probably just like, uh, crank ventilation system, you know guys, uh, uh, one time in our uh, vlog number two, three, four, I don't remember that, we show how to replace the crank ventilation, one? no, crank, yeah, 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 crank ventilation system on S6 engine, and this is everything under uh, that uh, air, water cooling, system setup, yeah, yeah. yeah, and probably uh, the engine sucked engine oil, and like hydro knock hydro the lock. piston and lock yeah, yeah the pistons we don't know this is first what i want to see but we try to crank it's like just tick worst case new engine i mean new used doesn't matter and yeah this week we show you guys how to pull out gearbox from that car uh i can show you because like sorry guys of course we can we can show you many many things what we do because it's like like last time with the galardo what we say this is it's a secret it's secret. a trade yeah, secret but uh, i'll show you it's a common issue uh, with this gearbox these things uh, let me pull up this is factory factory kit from ferrari i can just show you what, what's going on uh, yeah, it's nice and beautiful box. Here is the problem. This is a uh, speed sensor. And this is not one speed sensor, it's three speed sensor. One, two, three. But this is speed sensor, level three speed sensor. And <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see what it says. <laughs> it's a BMW socket connector, but it's okay because this is uh, this is git rack. It's a git rack uh, gearbox. Uh, exactly same git rack gearbox on a Mercedes SLS, Ferrari, Ferrari FF, F12, 458, 488. Exactly same gearbox, but not in the BMW. But it's still uh, git rack. This is uh, Deutsche gearbox. 
right? <laughs> this is the problem. This is the problem, and uh, what's going on? The transmission miss because if you guys know what is dual clutch, it's supposed to be two gearboxes in one case. It's have like uh, first, uh, third, fourth, seventh gear, and second, fourth, sixth, and reverse gear. It's like uh, eight gears, but four and four. And the one speed sensor, when the, the, the start happens problem with the speed sensor, one gearbox is missing. It's not monitor the speed and missing. This is the problem. Yeah, but I will show you how to pull out the gearbox and then how to fill gearbox, how to adjust uh, fluid level proper way. This is we show you this week. I want to start work on this car. I probably Wednesday, fr Thursday, right? Something like that. Because Friday, I 100% start work on this car, and um, probably next week I'll be finishing. Because it's, that gearbox is little beast. Like I mean, difficult. It's needed reassembled whole big gearbox. It's needed special tools. Maybe we post a few pictures how it looks inside. But our goal for today is to figure out what happens with the Bentley. It's a low miles car. It's really interesting problem. You know what does it have? I think twenty thousand miles. Yeah, less than twenty thousand yeah. miles. Okay. We'll keep you. We'll try to keep you updated. Yeah. You guys have a good day. Take care. <laughs> Just working on this car, trying to figure out what happened to it, what caused what. So no clue yet. Okay, guys. The what update: we pull out the spark plugs. It's the spark plugs still have a uh, engine oil. It's it's black. You know, it's like looks like. Something. Yeah, the cylinder walls like were also coated in oil. Yeah, and uh, come the on. flashlight works. Ah, uh, boy, yeah, it's older than me. The flashlight. <laughs> okay. Uh, when we start drain the engine oil, yeah, it's like see, it's a full basket. This is three and a half gallon. It's a full basket, but it's visually it sees like some some stuff, yeah, like 14, friction stuff. This is 14 liters of oil. Yeah, it's dumb. yeah, it's and it's supposed to be only eleven something. Yeah, it's like a friction stuff. You can see right there. You can see right yeah. there. Okay, guys, uh, let me pull pull out the engine oil filter and let's check because mostly we can see if the engine is stuck. We can we can turn. It doesn't spin around. Uh, yeah, yeah, we try to uh, turn engine by screwdriver uh, from torque converter. No, it's completely completely stuck. And this is the question: Why? Why this is happens only when the uh, what the guys say? They have a light from oil level. Light. It was a low pressure oil. No, no, or low oil. Low oil. He and said he he yeah. said like a oil level light. His son topped up yeah. the oil. Yeah, and his son topped the oil level. No, he topped it off way too much. Yeah, and and, and then car is, the car is running a little bit, yeah. and then. Completely stopped. Yeah, but why did he top it off with a full? <laughs> I think we we take uh, we take out that sensor and take the camera and inside. look inside. Yeah, because engine is stuck. It's something, something. Let's check the oil filter. Hey, give me the light. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, see, this is the brass everywhere. See, copper is everywhere. What? Wait, that's the wrong filter. What the hell? <laughs> they put it upside down. No way. Okay. They put it upside down. Okay, this is the problem. <laughs> they start. And this is the this is the not the level. This is the pressure light. Uh, oh boy, oh my gosh. What the fuck? Um, excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> yeah, wow, oh, look yeah. inside. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hold on, let me zoom in. Look at that, that's all copper. Oh, well, wow. now we know why he went. Uh, bye bye. Okay. Now it's engine, completely engine is, is junk. Well, Bentley, you had a good 20,000 mile run. <laughs> we'll let you know what the decision will be if we're rebuilding it, if guys, we're getting a new one. Guys, this is why we highly recommend it. If you have an expensive car, 
go to professional people. Somebody that knows what they're doing. Yes, and like it's not like a uh, one-year technician, five-year technician. Because I remember my uh, like youngest time, like uh, poor level experience. After two years, I think I know everything. After I work with car over 10 years, I understand I don't know nothing. And for me, it's like, oh, what is difficult? Open bolt and tie the bolt. No, you have to know how to open bolt and how to tie that bolt proper way. And you have to feel that. And uh, for me, like my grandpa say, two times double check what you do and how you do. And make sure you do everything right. And if you don't know how to do, ask question from your co-worker from people who knows and this is now this is a really good example guys uh, let's talk about the customer lose for that stupid it's a stupid mistake he lose 20 grand easy okay guys now we talk to the a Bentley Bentley owner and to make decision what to do how to do but for sure it's need an engine swap because I think it's not worth it to rebuild there's so many things damaged because you know it's like poor, uh, oil pressure uh, destroyed completely cylinder head maybe scratch you don't want to have a deal with that engine rebuild and I think it's not worth it because way cheaper and faster to just replace the engine just to swap the engine now today I have more time because Bentley we, we quickly diagnosed what's going on. I have a time for this for this yellow Aventador. I could I slowly sorry slowly start to pull out the parts, body panel, bumper, spoiler, everything, and then move to hoist for pull out the engine with the transmission because only one way to remove engine is need to remove transmission. If you remember guys. We not long time ago did the transmission uh, hydraulic pump on this car and the car is like the drive little bit over 2000 miles because that car went to LA then drive around and now it's time to work with the engine. Sad, it's really sad about what happens. Low miles car mm, at yeah, after we pull out cylinder head, we can see what's going on and what to do. Make decision again because that engine is really expensive. It's seven times more expensive than Bentley. Okay, okay, guys, keep you informed. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to German Auto House. We're doing a little bit. This one, we already found out what's going on. We started on that one, and this guy's dancing as always. Hi, guys. That one's still in process. Yeah, that one is still in the process. We want to pull out, waiting for parts. We also received the parts for 458 for timing adjuster. It's timing solenoid, timing valve. Uh, doesn't matter what, what they call, but I think the end of the trip we're planning to replace. That one in progress, right? Yeah, we gotta yeah. find out what the customer yeah, wants. Yeah. But, yeah. We start work. We start pull out the parts slowly before next week because we want to pull out the engine and check what's going on uh, we got that California yeah uh, it's, what did I say high miles high miles car no kind of kind of yeah but it's nothing because we have a Ferrari it's over 120,000 miles yeah. with the same engine and similar gearbox it's same gearbox but it will be different housing that one Good. It's come for us for a uh, heart of problem issue. Let's go. Let's show how this works. Let me tell me you can operate that system. Yeah, beautiful Ferrari engine. It's really reliable. Yeah, of course we use Leonardo system. We check our hull sensor. Yeah, he start. He start. See, it's like like a bumblebee. Open. <laughs> It's transforming. Transform something, follow down, plastic pieces. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is plastic. I don't know. It is open. 
It is open. Okay, can you close please one more time? Okay. Yeah, it looks like some, some plastic. Uh, yeah, our hydraulic looks good. Nothing broken, nothing missing. Looks done. The problem is been before with the plum clutch. And uh, we need to replace with a little bit adjust, but uh, it's still problem there, right? Something like that. Had an issue with this flap not working properly. Oh, There's yeah. a spring that we have to readjust and it's that's it. Because this thing was, it's, it's better as you can see. I mean, it's not perfect, but it was hanging up to here. So every time you, you get in, about you would hit. Four, it's 2010. It's a 2010. It is 2010 that came from Florida. It's from Florida. Very, yeah. very hot. Very, very hot. And um, I know when we lift up on a hoist, I saw just to move my head down and check it's have a uh, gearbox leaks. This is important things, but no any trouble code from gearbox, but it's have a fluid leaks and I think it's between cases or some seal, I don't know. We have to check this one. Uh, probably on this mileage is need to do carbon build cleaning. I think it's because it's like that I I don't like that idle. I wanna take that car to test drive, check what's going on. And done? Okay, yeah, and back to we have a Maserati Quadra Porta for side. And uh, we got an M3. M3, yeah, M3. It's a beautiful clean car. Okay, guys. What you up to, man? Common issue. Common issue from that engine. Hey. Yeah, we replace two throttle body, position motor, and spark plugs. Just regular maintain. Yeah, but after you update, this is like that throttle body uh, from M5 and M3 with a v, uh, V8 and V10 we have a problem with a two option problem <laughs> option problem two problem first with the plastic gear and second one with the MOSFET this is like a transistor call and wherever they, they burn and the throttle body doesn't work but we replace two of them upgrade and forget it for a long long time and that Quadro Porte. Quadro Porte. Quadro Porte. Yeah, this is 2012. It's a beautiful with a new LED. 2011. Oh, okay, okay, 2011. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It is a beautiful car. Yeah, we do the uh, window regulator replacement, and we show you how to pull out the uh, the door panel and how to replace that. And so we finished with the M3. Now we're moving over to. Uh, Quadraporte, beautiful Quadraporte for the 11. What that guy said. <laughs> this is this is you. You correct me. Thank you. I know speaking English. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. We're doing a window okay. regulator, uh, which is yeah. in this beautiful box right here. But he's for already breaking this, things. I mean, taking things apart. Nah. For this door panel, what need to do? It's a five, five Allen, five millimeter bolt, <laughs> and this is this is first second third fourth and fifth over there here we are can you show me please fifth for that fifth you need to remove that rubber stopper but first you need to take uh, the plastic and first remove this panel big one this panel after you pull out this panel you remove handle handle cover and then just move that light marker and the hidden stopper and then you just like 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 this lift and done but I give you one good tips guys if you like me <laughs> and lose your five millimeter allen you can use torx <laughs> t theory it's work perfect <laughs> because our guy today snap on guy left early and i forgot to ask him about no. allen five millimeter what 
the Torx T30 working really fine. Yeah, uh, let me pull out that finish and I show you how to install that regulator, guys. Hello, everybody, welcome back to German Auto House, where we're singing a song that we can't sing because it's copyright, so don't sing it. Okay, sorry. No Today more. we're working on this beautiful 1,522 something miles. miles. Yeah, <laughs> something like miles. that. Thousand uh, miles. Uh, just doing some maintenance of the custom wall. This is not maintenance, this is more of a custom stuff, right? Uh, no, it's not custom, this is performance stuff. Performance. It's a calling performance stuff. Yeah, we do for this car uh, downpipe, cutlass downpipe. It's it's pretty simple job. Pam, pam, pam. Pah, pah, pah. And that's it. <laughs> no. Welcome back, everybody, to German out of fitness <laughs> this is just morning and exercise oh okay morning good morning, morning everybody uh, today we have that beautiful lamborghini really low miles because it's brand new uh, for downpipe installation from from the really young but it's really good quality company roof located in united states uh, Nevada this is what we do for this Lamborghini it's, it's, it's a very simple job it's a couple hour couple hour job and then more power high flow should be fun 850 horse wow for this it's stock 650 plus 200 another one it's beautiful car yeah, she's definitely beautiful. For ages, how young she is. Ages. Nice look. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. For me, it's fast. But it's not that bad. That car easy after stage two tune. Low temp, 10 seconds. Like, like, okay, not low, sorry. It's approximately high 10 second quarter mile. It's a stage two. It's fast for a CV. It's fast. Check these rotors. It's the biggest ceramic rotors in the world. And and calipers too. Somebody likes rotors and calipers. Somebody likes the interior. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Okay guys. Uh, let's start work and few car more today we have a four uh programming audi r8 we have another audi r8 for ac today anything else s5 so porsche porsche for maintenance first yeah, oil and change s5 for fuel troubleshooting stuff yep so while uh, dimitri is working over there i basically just wanted to show you these are basically two different two similar engines but totally different so that's the lambo which is an audi engine this is the Bentley, which is an Audi engine. 4.0, 4.0, different generations. Just want to show you a little different how they are. If you look from the top of it, you can see the turbos. They're kind of back to the engine right here. Boom, back of it. And you can see the downpipes going down. It's right against the firewall. And you see all this guts around here. Now, on the new 2020 Lambo 4.0, don't break it look at this yeah, look where the turbos are the other ones were right here these are here a lot forward see all the guts that was over there it's not here look at the cats look how big they are yeah it's uh, and now let me a little bit explain you why it's a different cats and why it looks big this is different generation of the engine it's a 4.0 is of course this is four year difference five year difference of course they upgrade a lot of stuff and and guys this is different emission stuff for this generation because first engine oil engine oil is going zero w40 with a new specification for a vw group what does this mean it's a low ash engine oil because new car like Audis and Porsche they came with a 
petrol particular particular filter is <laughs> like sorry for my misspelling but this is in a diesel they call it DPF diesel particular filter and now it's going to gasoline P PPF they call it petrol particular filter and this is required different engine oil with the low ash and this is why that downpipe and catalytics is huge it's like a different emission. One. Yeah, it's for emission. And of course, this is different engine, it's more power. And I know for sure, I know for sure who use that engine is still new, but they, they don't have any complaint. Now, no any problem with this with this engine. Maybe in the future something coming, we don't know. But now it looks completely different. Completely different yeah, than, set up than previous. Different. And if you take a look in another one, 4 liter engine from 2012, it's different too. But this is most reliable and most powerful engine from Audi. Without any problem. I mean, any problem is like, we don't talk about like small issues. Every car has yeah. some issues. Yeah, but it's really good and reliable. Engine. I guess we'll update you a little bit info once we, I guess, take a few things apart, install these puppies, and uh, we'll show you how they look like. Take care. Guys, okay, just give me a little update. So these are the big puppies. These are the factory uh, catalytic converters from the turbos that we showed you before. And then right now he is installing these puppies, which are very, very skinny. Very, very skinny, yep. And basically, it's gonna be some fun. It looks skinny. But let, let's measure that. Hold on, let me, let me grab caliper. Let, let's measure, I think it's like a three inch. Yeah, it looks like a three inch. Uh, inch. Yeah, it's three inch. Three inch, three inch down five. Yeah, for stock tubers, enough. Yeah, no. Look at all that. Boom. Pretty cool. We'll keep you updated how it sounds and everything like that. Welcome to German Outer House. We have started uh, not a new project, it's been an ongoing project, but we're Guys, starting a teardown. Today is the day for this Ferrari FF. Yeah, today we start transmission. Pull out the gearbox. Transmission, they call them transmission, this is automatic. I mean, this is automatic, but it's not automatic. Because in this gearbox is have a sprocket, gears, We're in America. forks. It's a transmission. No, it's normally it's a gearbox. Okay. The gearbox. Okay. So transmission? Today, yeah. <laughs> okay, you're right. Today we start pull out transmission, gearbox. And tomorrow turn down and replace that speed sensor. Uh, but today we need to drain all fluid. It's a two different fluid. This is the big gear oil and dual flush transmission fluid. This is what you want to do today. Remove the transmission or gearbox or transmission. One or the other. Okay, this is slow process. You know guys, this is four wheel drive Ferrari, but it's funniest things. The gearbox, it's a seven speed gearbox. And if you don't know how is that four wheel drive system works, I quickly explain you what's going on. The FF is have a four wheel drive, drivetrain only until fifth gear. It's a first, second, third and fourth. This is four wheel drive system. After fourth gear, this car it's rear wheel drive because the all wheel drive system or uh, front wheels they work with the Haldex system. That's it. This is independent system than gearbox. This is independent system than gearbox. And when you see when we start pull out the gearbox, uh, you can see this is exactly similar gearbox than any dual clutch seven speed g truck ferraris only rear wheel drive and front wheels this is from haldex system until fifth gear 
After fifth gear, car is completely rear wheel drive. Okay, start turn down and work on this car. We also noticed this uh, customer has already lowering springs in his car installed. <laughs> Give me a little update here on this FF. What you got, boss? Whole belly pins is out. Half fender liner, exhaust pipes, uh, X pipes from after cut. Don't look at that turbo. Yeah, before it's before it's a resonator, but now it's a, the, the guy installed Capristo X pipe. Plastic drive shaft is out. Few bolt is open. Now we start to drain out fluid, uh, coolant, gear oil, and dual clutch. And then release e-brake. Remove the transmission control module. And after that, whole cradle with the gearbox going down. We'll keep you updated, guys. Everybody, just gave me some some updates on the FF. Yeah, okay, folks. Now everything is out. I mean, what does mean everything? Suspension, brake caliper, strut, uh, the wiring. Another side too, sway bar. We drain all fluid coolant from heat exchanger, uh, gear oil, dual clutch oil, e-brake. Uh, we Remove the wiring harness from the uh, transmission control unit and now we lose the bolt from uh, transmission cradle, it's open, a little bit drop down, now it's time to lower it. Reassemble it, lower and yeah, reassemble Welcome back, here's a little update, we took everything down, she's fully on our jack stands, sitting, waiting basically to take everything else apart. Yeah, now and it's... Dima's going to tell you some more about it. Yeah, now it's time to... Pull out the axles, left and right, exhaust, cooling pipe, heat exchanger, and ready to turn down and replace that speed sensor. And next week we show you how to fuel transmission, adjust fluid level, gearbox fluid level, dual clutch fluid level, how to do all resetting stuff, and test drive of course. Look at this, this was on a frame where it bolts up, look how much... It's coming issue. It's coming, it's, it's not a coming issue, this is coming... Because it's sticky tires. Yep. The stone and rocks fly everywhere. Just, you just hit something, it's like... Alright guys, okay, we'll get guys. back to you once we load it, unload it. We'll show you how everything is. Take care. Hey guys, gearbox already out. Uh, strip and ready for turn down for repair. This is how it looks now. FF without the cradle, build the axle here and exhaust pipe. And last car for today. Beautiful Audi R8. Ten plus. It's a really beautiful color. It came to us for uh, we need a diagnosis and even a few adaptation. Beautiful car. Hey guys, 